In this video we talk about divisibility and prime numbers. And this is just kind of an introductory video into what it means to be divisible and what it means to be a prime number. Uh, there's no really no examples to go with this other than just the numbers that we'll see. Uh, starting with divisibility. Some number A is divisible by another number B if there exists a third number C such that A is equal to B times C. Okay, so the, uh, let's put that in normal terms here. So now, one of the things you learn about mathematics as you, as you maneuver through uh, the different levels is that math is a very specific language. And, and this is, says a very specific thing. So let's try to find one of these magical numbers. And let's try to look for uh, 18. Let's make A 18. Okay, so now, if uh, a is divisible by another number B. So let's check, let's just guess on another number B. And I'm going to let B equal 6. Okay. If there exists a third number C, now the exist part is kind of funny because it doesn't really say that you can find it easily. It just says it's there. So some number A is divisible by another number B. If there exists a third number C such that A is equal to B times C, I should warn you, these are all natural numbers, and this should say perhaps a natural number. Natural. These are the counting numbers. Okay, this is these are the numbers like I want to make a squiggly line there. One, two, three, and it just kind of goes on and on and on. You can say 10, on and on and on, and it just keeps going, it never stops. But it's just the things that we learned to count at when we were children. And so, if there exists a third natural number C such that that happens, okay, so now can we find, the question is, can we find C? So we have 18 is equal to 6 times what? Well, 18 is equal to 6 times 3. So yes, if, if 1 exists, yes, it does exist, and it's 3. OK, so now, how do we read this? We say that A, then, is divisible by B. We say that 18 is divisible by 6. Or, as I'm more likely to say it, that 6 divides 18. And it's not enough that it, you just throw it into a division, uh, division problem and divide it out and you get the answer. When you divide it, it has to divide evenly. There must not be a remainder. S uh, by the way, B is a factor of A. All of these things are true. So 18 is divisible by 6, or 6 divides 18, or simply that 6 is a factor of 18. Any one of those three. But I just wanted to show you the kind of the uh, the unique nature of mathematics in its stringent definitions. You will not find a thesaurus in mathematics. Uh, what you find is that this first one here is typically said in, in the, ad that I found, in math classes as you're beginning to build your skills. When you go backwards as you grow, you know, get up there into uh, subgraduate and graduate level work, you tend to kind of go to B divides A. It, it, that seems to be the more proper way of writing it. So that kind of leads into this idea of prime numbers. What happens if C and A are the same? Well, you have this thing called the prime number. A number is a prime number, and again, this should be natural number. The natural number is a prime number if and only if the factors of it are 1 and itself. Okay, so now if you take a look at the number 21, 21, yeah, I can I can write the prime or the factorization for 21. We talked I had talked about that in a previous video. And so if I write the factorization it's 1 and 21, but it also 3 and 7. It's this right here, that pair right there that causes it not to be a prime number. Because another pair exists, 21's not prime. 29, however, is and so the only factors of 29 are 1 and 29, no others. Now, 
it, it might seem, ex- seem as an exception to a rule, and I've been screaming and hollering that math contains no exceptions. Uh, this is the explanation that I give for it. One is not a prime number. And and the only rational reason I've been able to come up with this at, at this time is that when you multiply or factor down one into one times one, you have to ask yourself, well, which one is the itself and which one is the one? Because in the definition, the only factors are of it are one and itself. And so it's kind of ambiguous. You could take it both ways. Either one could could be the, the role of the quote itself. Since you don't know which one and math despises ambiguities, we say fine, we'll just ignore it. One is not a prime number. Now any other number that is not prime is called composite. It is composed of more than one prime number. That is the essence of prime numbers. It is the definition. And so it's kind of nice to ease into that factorization scheme with the prime numbers. And they're a very special group. 